equator, sweltering heat, line it up with the equator. It's not algebra, we'll turn up the temperature like we're in Africa. Honestly, pardon me, I'll just give you the data. It's set to the earth. First started teaching, I was given scripted curriculum and this, the curriculum was great. However, I noticed that all of my students weren't retaining it. They have several different learning styles. Um, and so, you know, I needed to get to the students who, the students who were audio and visual. And so um, I started integrating media as well as, you know, um, songs to help them uh, remember certain things and uh, certain concepts. And so that's how it evolved over time. So we went from just having the straight up lesson to ha that's like an hour and 15 minutes to having that same hour, but spending about 15 minutes uh, memorizing poetry and hip hop songs that would help us retain different things like figurative language um, or math concepts, whatever I was teaching at the time, because I went from substitute teaching to teaching English and now I'm teaching history. And so um, I've always had a passion for hip hop and a passion for poetry, but I just started recently integrating it into my work within the last three years and the response has been phenomenal. How did I end up picking Cardi B's Bodak Yellow? So um, I'm 29, I'm young. So I'm pretty familiar with the song. And you, my students were in my um, advisory, in my classes, and they were tapping the beat. And I could recognize the beat. I knew exactly what they were tapping. And you know, if I said anything that was like about shoes or you know something bloody, they would just be like, bloody shoes, like in the middle of the class. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to. I have to figure out how to revamp this so they can retain these continents and these oceans and these hemispheres and stop just yelling out random items from this song. Um, I, I'm aware that the song is not age appropriate. Um, and so I'm excited that they have a new version to sing and the kids are, they're, they're amazing at the hook. They know the verse. They're not as uh, fast at the beat as I am, but it's been an incredible response because I, I've only done it with sixth grade and sixth, seventh and eighth grade. They're all rapping it now. So that's pretty cool. History, 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 history said you can know the globe if you wanted to. Seven continents, five oceans, and four hemispheres too. Got three climbing zones, polar, temperate, and tropical. And I know southwest, east, like my rose and cardinal. Hey, I don't get it, said I know my longitude. Um, how do I feel about everything? And am I going to create uh, more songs with other hits in hip hop? So we've definitely done this before. We've done figurative language last year with Panda. Um, we, uh, we're doing mask off right now for retaining the presidents uh, with our history teacher, Mr. Corbett. Um, and we are even thinking about using Rake It Up for math. It's, it, you know, ratios, 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 like something like that, right? Add it up, add it. right? We're gonna, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it together. But, um, you know, the kids love it, they love it. And again, we have an hour and 15 minute class. So, you know, that transition time is a good 10 minute, like, let's remember this song to help us, you know, put this down. And you hear the kids as they're taking the exams, like they're reiterating these things. So I'm definitely gonna do it again. I'm definitely gonna do it again. Um, so I'm excited about that.